Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Q&A Thursdays. We're live here. We've got Keith here, and I'm of course, and Jeffrey. Um, thanks for watching. We're glad to have you here. Hey, it's great to be back. We've been gone for a couple weeks. Yeah, we've been gone for a little while. Yeah. Uh, but we're back here now. So those of you who are wondering where we've been, we have kind of switched in the summer times. We're kind of in our uh, little bit of a slow season. So we're just doing every other week right, right now is kind of what we're doing. So uh, we'll probably be off next week, but uh, the week after that, we'll be back on. So uh, get those questions coming in. We're going to answer a bunch of questions. We're going to, uh, I've got some stuff to give away today from Echo Calls. We're really excited to have that here. Big shout out to Echo Calls. Thank you so much for uh, uh, sending this stuff in. They're a big supporter of us. You know? yeah. I like the big supporter. Rick and those guys do a nice job on those calls. And we have great calls. Yeah, it looks like we've got a few motors going on today. Yeah, it's, it's been busy here. It really summer. has. It, it's been a busy summer, actually. Yeah. I say I say slow summer, but it really hasn't been that slow. Not, not where I work. It's never slow. That phone <laughs> will not stop ringing. But, but that's okay. That's another, right. that's another story. You know, that's a good problem to have. It I is, true. Really. That's, that's for sure. That's good. So, um, so send in those questions. We're going to answer those here in a little bit. First, though, we want to walk you over into the new building. I know we've shown you parts of that before, but it's, it's come along. We're really close to starting to move things into it. So. Yeah, they're uh, doing some work in there now. Let's go see what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, let's take a look. I think we've got uh, Juan in there and also Ian. So uh, oh, we'll Ian's give a shot. In <laughs> Ian's in there. We all know how much Ian loves yeah. to be on camera. So make sure, Amory, you pay it in really close and get a shot of Ian. Over in there. So come on, come on over close. Let's see if you can get him to talk. I'm not sure if they know. Do you guys talk? Do you talk? Ian says no. <laughs> so basically, guys, we've got 5,500 square feet. We've got some new pallet racking coming in. We're going to be moving all of our big parts out of the main shop out into here, and also motor stores. We're going to be able to store 40 to 60 motors yeah. at any given time. Keep them out of the weather. Keep them nice and clean, so yep. when they leave Mud Buddy and hit the truck, they're they're in good shape. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as you can see, we've got the loading dock up there, so trucks will be able to just pull right in. Yeah, make it a little little easier on this guy. It's been something we've needed to do for quite a while, but now it's being done, and yeah. it's going to be a great uh, great addition to the Mud Buddy family and having some storage space. The storage space. I know. Do we have a plan for what's going to happen in the regular shop? Um, just all, all the, all of the big stuff will be out here, so we'll actually be able to uh, put, um, put, hey, put well. um, more parts in their area. <laughs> we'll have a for the parts in their area. Yeah. Instead of trying to trip over them now and find them, right. it'll be organized. We've got a new uh, shipping gal going to help us out here. That's running right. back and forth. So. That's right. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. I know we've also got a few offices upstairs that are kind of taken up with some stuff. That yeah. It, it'll be yeah. nice to move some of that up. Get to move some of that stuff around. Oh, we're, we're growing so fast. Like we can hardly we can hardly keep up. So I'm just pulling this up. I'm not trying to ignore you all. I'm going to pull this up so I can get your uh, comments. See if you have any comments or yes. questions. Hey, we had a, a last week a really cool couple of parties down at the lake That's where we got to run did. some... Uh, a lot of the employees got to run Mud Buddy Motors. We had a barbecue. It was just a great time. I'm sure Jeff's going to be posting pictures here. Absolutely. Soon that you can see. The goal is to try to make you as jealous as possible. <laughs> we were having a good time on Friday afternoon, and it was extremely warm, too. But the water was, was nice. Hot day. No, we had a lot of family members and a lot of kids. We had yeah, a lot of kids. Lot it was kids. really fun. There was a lot of kids. Yeah. For us yeah, that yeah, don't yeah. have kids uh, that young at home anymore, oh, there yeah. was a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to see Ambry's two little We did. We got, to, in, we got so. to see some of that. We also had uh, uh, Keith and Clint were both on the show. So we got, we got some good food. It was really awesome. We're doing what we do. And Juan's doing what he does, making no <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's doing that on purpose. He's going to wait till we say something important. And then... That's all right, I do have some comments here, though. Joe DeCrane says, Echo Calls are awesome. Thank you, Joe. We, they are awesome. Thank you, Joe. We really appreciate them, and we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, Jason Miller asks, is there a dealer near Houston? A dealer near Houston. I believe That's it's Jeans Power Sports. Jeans Power Sports yes. just outside Jeans of Power Houston. Sports. Just outside of Houston. In fact, uh, for you boat enthusiasts, if you've got some, uh, they're actually at the Houston Boat Show. Today, starting today. So they're there. They've got the new uh, Bay Pro 230 out there, which is a brand new boat that Excel has made. Incredible boat. So if you're in that area, stop by and say hi, because they're out there and they're really great. Um, but they're a good. They're a, they're a really great dealership. 
Um, Joe DeCrane asks, how many motors do you guys produce a year? That's uh, a good question. I think we should maybe move on and maybe head into the other shop. It'll probably be a little quieter. Yeah, we'll let we'll let Juan and Ian keep working, and we'll uh, we'll throw out a number at you when we get to the next shop. Yes. We about fifty yard walk, and we'll be there. Yeah. Hey, we'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> Let's see. Kyle Wilson says great product. Awesome guys. Thanks. Thanks, Kyle. We appreciate it. Yeah, we got some good questions in here. All right, we like good questions. Just give us a second, guys. We're almost into the the other shop, and uh, where it's a little cooler too. Oh man, because it's, it's warm out here today. Uh, Corey, our good friend Corey, I think who is at home today, about to have her her baby. Her baby. She says, "Hey guys," and she's excited about the show. She's been waiting to see that as well. So. Corey, how you doing? Hope you're uh, feeling okay, and uh, baby's gonna be. Well, it's coming here real soon. No, we're be. excited. We're yeah. really, we've been waiting. Another, a, another, we've been waiting like nine months. Yeah, another member of Mud Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I think the question was, uh, how many are we doing in a year? About. I would say about a thousand motors, uh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. So. Of course, that's uh, that number's going up yeah. as well. So. Every, every year that I've yes. been here, ten years, we've had an increase over the. So Absolutely. every year's been better than the, than the yeah. previous year. So it's it's been wonderful. Yes. You know? And that's all due to you guys. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Awesome. Okay, Chris Bird asks, are you guys going to produce a quieter exhaust other than the Q for us that hunt in the public lands or timber, public timber? Public timber. There. All I can tell you is eventually something will be coming out. I know that the engineers are working on that. The balance is... <laughs> The balance is trying to find just a performance and trying to keep it quiet. That's the uh, that's the hard part. That, is trying to keep the performance and the, and the quietness. So. That's exactly that's exactly it. And we love these kind of questions because this has been on our mind a lot. Oh, recently. especially since Arkansas. Is right, that big, with Arkansas uh, and everything else. So it is it's very much in the forefront of everything that we're thinking about, and all of our R and D is is looking at that and making sure because we want we want to have options for everything if you want a big loud motor we want you to have that if you want a quieter motor we want you to have that and, and it's funny as i've gotten older i'm not gonna say how old i am <laughs> i like them quieter when i right. was young it, yeah, you it wasn't that. loud enough but like, now yeah. it's like, like i kind of want to rip loud. more noise you know if i'm a big motor you want them to just roar so i i get it but uh thank you for that question that is something that's important to us so we love those questions um Okay, Anthony Beer asks, what is the weight of the 23 Mini Sport? Oh, you got to catch me right <laughs> on the 23. I'm going to guess, Anthony, without looking at my little cheat sheet that's on my computer, you're about a little low, around 200, maybe a little yeah. bit heavier. Shoot me an email at Keith, that's K-E-I-T-H, at mudbuddy.com. Ask me, yes. hey, how much does this motor weigh? And I'll shoot you a reply. Probably be tomorrow because I'm about... A few phone calls behind today. Yeah, or and keep an eye on this too. We'll post it up yeah. here on on this feed. Uh, we get a lot of questions on those on on weights being pretty important to people. Why why are we getting that many questions? Because you just want to have the right weight distribution. You don't want to have a 14 foot with a 320 pound motor because right. it's not going to run right. And yes. probably you know there's weight weight to power is everything. Yeah. And if you've got a little motor with a big old heavy motor. It's going to cause some serious problems. You're going to go fast, but it may not be safely. <laughs> so, yeah, weight's big, a big one. I actually, and I actually do like those 23 minis. I think they're, I think they're a nice little, a little motor. They're a right great, there. economical, yes. easy to drive. Yes. And they work great for 14, 16 foot boats. They yeah. really do. Exactly. You know, the F86 that we had, the little 25 on, was a little bit big. But you know I mean, that's a heavy boat. Though. Yeah, it's so a heavy boat. But I, I was surprised on how she would zip along yeah. with that. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're a great motor. I that's it's one of my favorites. It's smaller. I'm a smaller guy. I think it's easy to steer. I, I like e it. Less power, easier to steer. Yes. It's not so hard on you. No, I, I absolutely agree. Um, okay, Corey Arnett. Is there any Mud Buddy Motors or any other dealers in Oregon? Oregon. Right now you have Pepper Robinette, uh, who's a dealer in Oregon. Yeah. Um, he can help you out. If not, if you're Outside of 75 miles of Pepper, and I can't remember exactly what town he's in, you can call Clint here at the shop. Ask for Clint, and he can help you uh, help you out with those questions. 
Yes, absolutely. Flint's always a great resource. Um, you can also go on our website. There is a uh, dealer search button that you can click there and you type in your zip code and it will show you all of your closest dealers. So that's, that's a pretty good resource. You can also do it here on the Facebook page, right on your left hand side, I believe, there's that, uh, there's that uh, a bunch of tabs that you can click on and it's, it's in there. On your right side. I'm not sure which side. I don't know. No, no. You can find it. You'll find it. It's there. Okay. This is a common question. How much are the reverse kits? Reverse kits is a good question. Uh, that's one I'm just going to have you contact Clint. Um, his number is 801-352-8011. Ask for Clint and he can tell you what the, what the <laughs> price of those are. Because they vary and there's some questions about gearing if yeah. you've got a short or a tall so yes and there's a kind of a part a and a part b kit so it's kind of better to find out what exactly you need instead of just shooting yeah, out a number, a number out may, yeah there's a lot of that goes into that that question but it's a common question it is a common question yes they yeah. are available and they are we available. sell them so yes. absolutely um okay I'm going to go back. Uh, Corey asked about the, the Oregon shop. Corey, I'm going to send you a, an Echo Calls hat, this one right here. Now, here, hold, hold on to that. You may think that they're missing, maybe the dog got to it first, but it didn't. It is actually made that way on purpose. We still have the tag on it. That's still what I asked him. I said, so was it cheaper because half the material is missing? But yes. apparently it's not. No, so that's a, it's a really awesome Echo Calls hat. Corey, if you will PM me, that's a private message on this thread. Uh, with your information, and I will get that shipped off to you. Okay? Appreciate it. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't, do I dare ask that? I don't know. <laughs> I may have to skip that one. All right, Anthony Trammell asks What's the best prop for a slightly modded 35? Uh, it's got to be the car, I'll be a carbureted. Carbureted version? Uh huh. I, I, I'm a big guy. I, I like the big I know blade. you do. Um, you, it's a, it's a great all-around prop. The, uh, um, the hammer, if you've got the power to push it, is a great yes. prop. For a 35, if you've got just maybe carburetor and a pipe, I still think a big blade is the way to yeah, go. I think you so, know, too. If you're going to do some more modifications, then you could step up into the hammer, possibly the rafter. Yeah, I guess it goes to be how, how modded. How modded, yeah. yeah. If you're just going pipe and a car 35, you're gonna stick with the big blade. Yeah, the big blade. It's, I would. It's I a good all-around prop. It really. Yeah, is. it really is. It's, it's a great. And great they're a little bit. Their price point's a little bit lower than some of the other ones. Okay. Ooh, Corey just wrote in. Haha. Ha, thanks, guys. About to find out how this little one is. Hopefully, she makes her appearance here soon. Yes, we That's all hope that for you, yes. Corey. Because you looked a little uncomfortable Ooh, at the party at on the, Friday. <laughs> any day now. That boat ride didn't help her much. <laughs> uh, or maybe it did. Uh, maybe know. it did. I don't know. Maybe it did. I don't know. Um, that's our home remedy. Uh, Joe DeCrane asked, whatever did happen to the Arkansas van, did it go through? Um, yeah, what's the update? Do you have an update the on update that? The update on that is it's been tabled. There it is no van. Um, I think we just need to keep in mind that it's it's public, private, public land. So you want to run yeah. mufflers that are quiet. I understand you want your performance, but a gutted muffler is just a gutted muffler that's loud. Yes. There's some mufflers out there that are quieter, that give you some performance. And so right now it's been tabled, yeah. uh, but I'm sure it's something that will rear its head again down Absolutely. the road. So I think we all need to, as duck hunters and mud buddy guys and mud motor people in general, we just need to take a little bit more um, care and understanding yes. about what's going on around us, the environment, mm -hmm. our other fellow hunters. Be a little bit more courteous, really. Yeah, that, that's really what it's going to come down to. And like you said, I, I'm sure we, we've not seen the end of this. Um, but for right now, it, it has been tabled, so we're good right now. But let's just let's not give them any more reason. Yeah, let's not give them any more ammunition. They yeah, don't exactly. need any more. We, that's exactly right. So. Okay, uh, Mark Harrell asks, will a, he put a PBF, I think he means PPF. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, just for that, I'm going to call him PBS forever, yes. Mark, we'll throw you a Echoes Mallard Madness 11, so make sure you PM Jeff on this thread and we'll get this video out to you. Yes. Echo Calls <laughs> and Freddie and those guys, 
they do some amazing stuff on these videos. Yeah, they do. Let alone on the water. Yeah, too, they're so. uh, they're awesome. They're really cool. So, will PBS Cam, will a BPS Cam give me more oof for my 4400 uh, Black Death? Yes, it will. Yes, help. it absolutely will. If you have questions about that, um, call down to the shop 801. 352-8011, ask for Micah. Yes. They'll transfer you over to Micah. He's our, our motor guy. He can tell you what it's going to gain, how much you're going to gain, and those kind of things. And maybe even get you to do a few more things why you've got it opened up already. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. You can also talk directly to BPS as yes. well. Yes. They can hook you up as well. Um, they'll have they'll have info and options for you too. They're really great. Over there. Our friends Travis, Glade, and Corbin. I almost Corbin, forgot yep. Corbin. Don't forget Corbin, he'll get you. I know he is a big guy. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Carol, not that it means that, yes. Here. Is there any dealers in northern Indiana? Let's see, we're looking, we've been having lots of dealer questions. I love this. That's, that's awesome. I'm going to just reiterate real quick for all of you that there is on our website a dealer search. So you can go in, you put in your zip code, and it will show you all of the closest dealers to you. Um, also on this Facebook page, just to your right, or maybe left, I'm not sure, um, there are tabs along the side of this page, and one of those you'll be able to find the dealer right in there. So we've got uh, any dealers in northern Indiana, dealers in South Dakota. South Dakota, I don't believe anything's there. I think you're right. I'm not sure I if there's anything. Probably more towards... Uh, Iowa, Illinois, in that area, or if you're if probably in South Dakota, would be a good one for Clint here. Here at Mud Buddy, give him a shout out. Um, 801 352 8100, and he can help you out too. Adam Smith asks, How long is the grease screw supposed to be on an HD sport? Mine is extremely difficult to get in all the way, and I'm afraid I'm going to snap it. Good question. Uh, um, that's one I'm going to have to get back to you. I right. know it's a quarter 28, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure how long it is. I want to say it's okay. about 5 eighths to 3 quarters of an inch long, but I don't know. Um, we'll we'll look at the thread, go back, and we'll uh, we'll find an answer for you and yes. kick that one out. Uh, yes, Adam Smith, and if you don't see that come up, uh, just PM us right here on this, um, on this thread, and we will get that answered for you. Um, Adam, though, I'm sorry I don't have that question. I'm going to send to you, my friend. I got an extra large. Uh, this is an Echo Calls long sleeve shirt. Just what you need during the summer. Just what you need for the summer. <laughs> Good. Nice Good and warm. Yes. No, it'll be perfect come the season here in just a little bit. Awesome. Okay. I didn't pull that up one more time. I'm just going to do it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. Anthony Beer asks, a buddy of mine is looking to put the 23 Mini on a 15 Alumacraft waterfowler, which is why I asked about the weight. Seems like it would be a pretty good fit. I mean, it would be a pretty yes. good fit. That's kind of what that motor was designed for. It's a lighter weight for lighter weight, smaller weight. Uh -huh. So that, that would probably a, be a good on fit. On a 15. Yeah you'd, yeah, you'd be all right with that, that boat, I think. I mean, now if you're going to put, you know, four linebackers in that boat, <laughs> Plus Probably. a couple of dogs and some decoys, you may yeah, struggle. Yeah, you be in trouble, but, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, Jarcy. Jarcy Barbie asks, how do we get in on the giveaway? It's a really great question. Um, so the giveaway is still running. That's going to run until October. Um, so you have plenty of time to enter. Um, if you go to our website, it's either the Mud Buddy or the Excel page. Uh, there's a link on there that will take you to uh, a new page and it will have questions for you to answer and you fill out those to enter in. To the what are they in. winning? No, that's a good question. So <laughs> you're going to win a boat and motor package. So Ooh, it's a Pro nice. Hole. Pro it's a, I believe it's a 1751. I'll have to double check. It's listed on there. You'd think I'd know. I've written it a thousand times. It's a Pro Hole and then a 40. Uh, 40 EF5. Good combination. Uh -huh. And then it, and it comes with a trailer as well. So that will be our first prize. There will also be a bunch of like second and third and fourth prizes that we're going to give out as well from our sponsors like Dakota Decoys, Lucky Duck, we've got Camp Chef. Actually, no, not Camp Chef, sorry. Camp Chef is not at all. Um, there are a whole bunch. They're all listed on there. So you can go on and see those. Keep, uh, keep an eye on us because we're actually going to be giving out bonus entries that will come out over the months in between. 
it would be really fun. Another yeah. way to get another entry. Yes, another way to get entry, to get, you know, more entries, the better. Uh, let's see. Awesome. Sorry, I'm just going through all of these. Shout out from Arkansas, Dale Chanel. Hey, Dale. Hey, what's Dale. Up? How's that new I'm, truck running? Yeah. <laughs> oh, where do I find information? On, oh, okay. Where do I find information on how to set the trim on my 44? Set the trim. So I might need a little. We might need a little more information on exactly what you mean by setting the trim on your 44, Jeff Mullinix. Uh, you can either PM us and ask that question specifically, or. Um, continue to post and we will try and address that. I'm going to make sure we get to that. Okay. Corey, Arnett, our, I'm not saying your last name, I apologize. What is the biggest surface drive Mud Buddy Motors? What is the biggest numbers do you guys make them in? Is it the 44? Is that the biggest one or is there one more bigger? That one I like, like the, four, the 44 EFI is the biggest one we have right now. Yes. That's that's been our biggest seller. Yeah. The, the new 40 is is coming on fast. Uh, one thing, it's got the new redesigned block. It's got new pistons, mm -hmm. different um, rods, a block, heads are reworked. So and it's a three year warranty. One yeah, of my favorites. We just happen to have one stand sitting behind us on a stand. A great motor, but right now the 44 EFI is probably still our number our one with the 40 yeah. grabbing at its tail. Yes. Absolutely. So, yeah, so we've got a couple of 40s. These are about to get chipped out. They're going to yeah. box these up here just a little bit. And then over here, this is not one that you see all the time. This is a remote steer over here, this uh, Kohler right here. Yeah, Kohler Command 26 and a half. This one's set up for a remote steer. So, somebody who's got their console boat yeah, doesn't want to grab with a tiller handle. Um, great motors. Yeah, really great motor. That's going to be fun. So I'm excited for whoever that is. That's that's a motor that I would love to have. Um, all right, so we're going to wrap this up. Um, if you have any questions, continue, and we didn't get to them, keep sending them in. We'll try and get through these uh, and get them answered by the end of the day. Um, I also do want to let you in on a little secret. So <laughs> coming out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Secret. Secret. Shh, don't tell anybody. If you are not or have not signed up for our email um, and you're not receiving that, if you're not a part of our email people, what I, what's the word I'm looking for? All of a sudden I can't think about it. I got so much going on. This is a really busy shop. It is We've got a lot of people coming around. I don't know, people are coming. I know, this is crazy. It's, it that is was Kevin, specific. if you didn't see that, just shot through there. Kevin probably, he's one of our two employees. He is, he, yes, I don't he think he has no, idea what we're no doing. clue. He just shot right through. But we'll, uh, we'll, That's we'll actually, everybody give a shout out to, to Kevin. Kevin. Yes, give a shout out because he's brand new. We, we like him. He's doing a really great job. Um, so if you if you have not subscribed, that's what I'm looking for. You've got to subscribe to our email channel. Um, subscribe to that on Friday. A special email is going to come out because we know what this weekend is. It is Father's Day right. this weekend. So there will be a really special email coming out for both XL and Mud Buddy. So keep an eye on that. If you haven't subscribed, Go in there and do that now. Um, also tell your friends, get everybody you know. Try and build that up because we've, uh, we've uh, got some really cool stuff that are gonna come through just the email. It'll be the only place you'll be able to see it and to uh, so take can advantage. You, can you tell we'll them what you're giving no, away? Nope. Oh, you can't even No, tell I'm not even gonna tell you. You've gotta, you've gotta you watch it. Email. at all? Is no, that, it's, it's a giveaway. It's a giveaway, there we go. It's a giveaway. It's there is something I'll, I'll free say, and I'll, is important. It's important. It's yes. important piece of you equipment. You want it. <laughs> I'll say that you want it. You want it. Um, but we are. So yeah, you gotta you gotta follow the email for that. Um, all right, I think that's it. I yep, that's it. Awesome. Thank you everybody so much for watching today. Um, we are gonna be back ne not next week, but the week, week after, after for another live. Um, and if you have any questions, this guy can answer them for you. All right. Thanks everybody. Have a good week. Thanks.